Hi, and welcome back. So yesterday we took a look at this, uh, well, obviously Chinese uh, product, but it was a 99 cent mouse, which actually worked, and wasn't even half bad. So today I have something new. Uh, about at the same time, uh, I looked around for more cheap technology or cheaper than the main brands you see here in the Netherlands. And I found this, uh, well, I guess the name isn't really on there, this Ajaz keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard and it costs about 40 to $45. I mean, here at retail, they're at least 110, 120 euros. So, Let's see how it performs. Maybe it's okay. That would be nice for having more keyboards for like a server system or another system. I mean, I think I'd still buy a retail brand uh, for my main system, but for anything else, this might work just fine. Let's go see. Okay, well, here's the mouse again, which I looked at yesterday. Still very nice. So now let's look at this keyboard. It comes in a brown uh, cardboard box for shipping. There's some logos and text on there, but let's see what's inside. There's another box inside, but this time it's a nicer black one. There's a giant geek on there and all kinds of Chinese characters, but hey, anything at this price point is from China, right? Victory, Dolly, Daily, I'm not sure what it's supposed to say. Okay, well, other than that, the box is empty. Of signatures. <coughs> Okay, interesting. So, what's this? Oh, this is mini USB. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus on that. Well, you just have to trust me, it's mini USB. Okay. There's even a nice cap on the USB plug, and they're the supposedly gold-plated kind. No way to test that, but I'm sure it'll work fine. They work fine without gold plating, so, you know. Okay, you can already hear the clicky sounds. I, t uh, I took the blue variant. You can get the uh, black switches or blue switches, and... I say switches, but normally you think of Cherry MX, uh, but in this case, they're, well, they're clone switches. They're at least not Cherries, because those are much too expensive. <coughs> but they basically replicate uh, the switch. Mechanical keyboard, routine maintenance guide. That's interesting. So, what, oh, yeah. No smoking. Well, I don't smoke, but if you do, don't buy this keyboard, because, you know, no smoking. Okay. What else is it? God, I hope the keys aren't in Chinese uh, too. Holy shit. There's a warranty card of which I can read almost nothing. Certificate. A jazz. Okay. Sure. And then there's a little booklet. Quick application guide. Well... Yes, it's a keyboard. Okay. Oh, there's also like FN keys, which does stuff. FN, W, W, A, Z, D. Huh. Yeah, no clue, but we'll just have to try that out. Okay. Let's put that aside. Put this away. 
<coughs> so let's have a look at this keyboard, shall we? There we go. That's a nice packaging. I mean, the unboxing experience is pretty okay. <laughs> it comes in plastic. Let's get that off first. Okay, so what do we have? Okay, there's a the mini USB plug is over here, and on that, yeah, it's a keyboard. Hmm. I also have a Ducky. Yeah, it's also a ten kilos version. Uh, which also has cherry and mixed blues in it and well to be honest <coughs> well, Okay, this shift feels a bit worse, but other than that this feels feels pretty clicky and uh, Yeah hmm. Okay, there's a, oh, there's feet on the back. That's nice Okay, and there's rubber on the feet Let me just lighten that up a little bit. There we go. So yeah. Rubber does its work. Okay, well let's get the cable out and connect it to my tablet and see how it works. Yeah, I wanted to do that. <coughs> okay, uh, just plug in the cable. Okay, it should be okay. Oh, wow. I forgot, but this is actually a backlit keyboard. That's cool. Look at that. Wait, let me bring that better. Look at that thing. 40 bucks. They have a mechanical backlit keyboard. That's awesome. Okay, well, let's, uh, I don't know. Try and get the notepad. Yeah, you won't be able to see much on the screen, I guess. Let me get that a bit closer. So, let me just <coughs> increase that font a lot. There we go. It should be okay. Just to see how well this works. Oh, actually, okay. Oh, yes. Don't mind my typos. I mean, I'm a quick typer, but I also make a lot of typos. So I guess for me, the most used key on the keyboard is the backspace. <laughs> That's, uh, it depends on your style, I guess. But let me uh, type for a little bit and see how this goes. As you can read, that's actually better than I expected. Wow. I mean, it looks nice too. That's awesome. So first we have a 99 cent mouse, which is completely crazy ridiculous. And now we have a 40 to $45 mechanical backlit keyboard. I mean, what else could you ask for? Nothing for those prices at least. I mean, come on. Huh. Awesome. 
So let's see, where's the FM key? There it is. Well, that's a bit of an odd spot, but okay. That's, uh... oh, okay. That's sort of a Tetris mode, I guess. What the? So they're individually lit? No way. <coughs> that's cool. Sort of a breathing effect. That's awesome. Yeah, we have that one. Hmm. Okay, well, there's different lighting modes, and I guess we have volume up. Oh, that works. Volume down. Yeah, works fine. What is, do these do? Oh, cool. You can lower and uh, raise the intensity of the backlight. Oh, uh, there's some PWM going on there, but it's okay. Let's see if I go to a different mode. What? So you can actually configure the mode. So this is the breathing effect, but much slowed down. Cool. Oh yeah, this is the way to do it. Wow, that would drive me nuts real quick. Oh, okay, nothing going on there. <coughs> so yeah, I, I guess that's it. I mean, I'm not going to take it apart. I'm actually wanting to use this keyboard. But as far as the keyboard goes... Yeah, as I was typing, I would prefer this keyboard above a dome or a membrane keyboard, or even a scissor keyboard. It feels very much like a Cherry MX Blue. I know it isn't, but for that price, get it as a second keyboard and should be awesome. <laughs>